Welcome to Investors Insights. Our topic today is panic over profits. Uh, a lot of news out there, coronavirus, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of volatility, concern. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to address that today in the vlog. So Bobby, let's start off with you because uh, when we started our meeting earlier this morning, you had a lot of data in relation to earnings and emotions. Yeah, so lost in the headlines is corporate America's impressive performance in the fourth quarter. So profit growth was up 3.1%, 6% if you take out the energy sector. And so expectations were actually for profits to fall. So the, the fact that they were actually up, great surprise to the upside. Mm -hmm. Corporate America is really healthy right now. Uh, problem is that now that the first quarter earnings are actually being revised down, because half of the companies reporting are talking about the impacts of the coronavirus. Okay. And so the average exposure to China for the companies that, that were talked about it, 7.2% revenue exposure to China. The average S&P 500 company has a revenue exposure of 4.8% to China. Okay. Problem is the supply lines are being greatly impacted by that. Okay. All right. And then, Ashley, you talked about over the weekend additional yes. news that came out about the top economies. Explain that in relation to what Bobby just said. Bobby's exactly right. This whole thing is a supply chain. Uh, the two economies Greg's mentioning over the weekend, Italy, eighth largest economy in the world. That one surprises people at how large it is. Mm -hmm. And also, too, South, Korean, uh, South Korea is 12th largest. So if you put those two top 15 economies right. on top of China, where you have intermediate supply chain issues, you're going to feel that. But the difference is, and the good news is, that's temporary disruption. Companies eventually work around that. You know, if they can't get supplied from China, guess what? They're going to find it somewhere else. It just takes you a little time to negotiate it. Very much so. And so when you have a market pull back like this on a, a, a knee-jerk reaction, the emotion and everything, there yes. actually could be buying opportunities no out doubt. there. No, no uh, doubt. You know, and so what's taking place today, and we've talked about this on the vlog before, uh, let's navigate through it, let's watch it, but no one needs to panic at this particular time. Right. Mm -hmm. And then tying that in, we're, we're, we're over here talking about uh, stock markets and economies, but talk about interest rates, yeah. Trey, because there's a lot going on That's there right. too. Yeah. Speaking of opportunities, so the 30-year <laughs> treasury rate hit an all-time low on Friday of 1.92%. The 10-year treasury dropped to 1.47. Now, how does that impact the individual? Two ways. One, the bond, your bond portfolio likely went up in value, but in addition, if you're looking at refinancing, Financing the FHA 30 year mortgage is now 3.44%. That's down over a percent from this time last year. Where we have a lot of clients talking about refinancing or moving or maybe going from a 30 year down to a 15, could be a great opportunity to discuss that. Look, look at the op options because rates in this time period, people may be overreacting. We, we, you know, maybe a little panic yeah. could create some opportunity. In addition to that, we have some clients that work at companies who still have pensions. There's not that many out there, but the pension amount that you get if, when you retire is based on what's called the PBGC rate, and that rate dropped to zero. You can't go lower than zero. And so we have a lot of clients that we're working with now kind of work through whether or not it makes sense. Should you retire with the higher amount or should you keep working with the, keep getting yeah, your Yeah, because earnings? at zero, you, you're getting the most exactly. pension that you should. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, you know, it's a complicated, that's why we have a planning department to kind of look through everything. Right. But this number gives you a new value to base it off of. And so could be some opportunity for some retirees looking to retire in the next few months, may, may well go ahead and do it. Some people looking to buy a house, now might be a really good time. Very much so. Well, and, and, and I want to uh, take hold of a statement you just made in terms of planning, is that we manage the portfolios to our clients' right. plans, their financial yes. blueprints. And so when you've got this kind of panic taking place out there, they can look at their plan, mm -hmm. am I on track to continue right. to achieve my dreams and goals? Also at right. the same time, you know, as we're navigating through these mm -hmm. markets, are there buying opportunities for these clients? Exactly. And then the third thing is just from the standpoint of opportunities like that, I have thought about buying the new house mm -hmm. or making a move, those kind of things, refinancing, tying that into the plan, which also comes back to the portfolio. So every, every Monday when we're here talking about portfolio strategies, it ultimately is all tied together. That's right. There's a lot of ways to, for profit and opportunities. Very much so. So on that note, we want you to have a great week. We would ask you to forward this to other friends, family, colleagues that might have concerns about the markets and the economy and the coronavirus. And then also from the standpoint, those that need to understand where am I in life in regards to my retirement? 
should I retire now because of my pension? Should I retire now because of what's going on in the economy? These are questions that we answer every day at Five Plan Partners as we move forward and, and stay with our core focus, which is to make our clients' lives better, richer, fuller each and every day. We hope you have a great week. This information is valuable. Share it. And at the same time, we will be applying it here at Five Plan Partners for you. Thanks.